Ah, the phone. For us millennials, it almost feels like it's an extension of, of who we are, of our arm. It's always glued to us. We're always on this thing. And believe it or not, there's so many mistakes you're making every time you use this thing that you have no idea about. Today, we're gonna go over the six top mistakes guys make on their phone and what you should avoid. So one of the biggest mistakes I see guys making with their phone, actually almost everyone, is using this as a safety net when they're in an uncomfortable situation. I know so many people that do this. You enter a social situation, whatever it may be, you enter a room, you feel uncomfortable, you don't know anybody, and instead of you sitting there twiddling your thumbs, you decide to hide behind your phone and use it as a shield to look more important, to look busy. The problem is that every time you do this, every time you use it when you feel uncomfortable, you'll never learn how to handle uncomfortable situations and how to come on top of them. So what I recommend is put your phone away. When you enter a room, instead of using that as your safety net, use your confidence. You go in there, your chest high, your head up tall, and that that's gonna show everybody in the room you're a confident guy, you're an important guy, you don't need your phone for that. Number two is not using a case on this thing. I mean, just think about it. The new iPhone costs over a thousand bucks. Why wouldn't you wanna protect it with some sort of case? You know me, I love being more proactive than reactive and when it comes to your iPhone, you don't wanna walk around with a cracked, dinged up iPhone, it just looks messy. Be proactive, put a stylish quality case on top of it and you're good to go. For example, I love using the cases from Rhino Shield. that's the one that I use on my iPhone. Currently the exact model that I have is a modular case that they have that's actually pretty cool. It allows you to change the case style depending on the situation and what you want. So for example, if I want the clean look and design of the iPhone to stay intact but still protect the phone, I can just use the bumper and I'm good to go. But if I want more protection and still keep it stylish, I can just swap out any of their various back plates they have to for a completely different look, different case, and full protection. But the two main points here you want to cover with your case is A, be stylish like these from Rhino Shield, and B, you want them to protect your phone. The cool thing with these Rhino Shield cases is that they're made with a new shock spread material that they own, completely new, that's ultra durable and will protect your phone. They also have an 11 foot drop, which means I can drop my phone from 11 feet, it's not gonna crack, and they guarantee it. If you guys wanna check out some of these sweet iPhone cases, they have cases for every style of iPhone, not just the new ones. Check out their huge range of cases. Obviously, if you have the iPhone X, they also have you covered there as well. I'm going to have them linked below, and they also shared with us a link since they are a partner for today's show. Also, if you're a photography type guy, you're really gonna love these modular cases. Because another thing is you can add easily add an adapter to the back plate, which will allow you to swap between four Four different lenses that they provide. Everything from wide angle lenses to macro lenses to fisheye lenses to give you more control over your photography and be able to produce beautiful pictures. Again, if you want to check out any of those cool materials from Rhino Shield, I'm gonna have it linked down below. The third mistake every guy makes with their phone is that they never clean it regularly. Some studies have shown that there is up to 10 times more bacteria on your phone than on your average toilet seat. Now imagine putting that up against your face. Talk about triggering an acne breakout. All the oils, the dirt, the bacteria that builds up on your phone. Personally, what I do, simple. Just use an alcohol wipe. Wipe it down at least once a week to cut back some of that bacteria, some of that oil and dirt to avoid infecting your skin and just spreading so many germs. Number four, hunching over your phone. You see guys and girls on their phone and just glued on there for hours at a time. Improperly using your phone like this, especially for long periods of time, could be causing severe damage to your back and spine. The thing is that this awkward position puts a lot of pressure on your neck and spine, which is why you tend to feel very tense and sometimes you start getting pain and discomfort. Solution is simple. All you have to do is stand in an erect state, the natural state of your spine. That way you relieve all of that pressure from your neck and the spine. Number five, a mistake that all young people make, spending too much time on your iPhone. See, the crazy part is that sometimes even after you're done talking to all your friends, nobody's messaging you, you're done with all your social media catch up, you've done everything possible, you'll still be glued on your phone trying to figure out what to do next 
to kill time. And don't lie, we all do it. But why would you want to waste your time in that being unproductive? You're not learning anything new and realizing that this could actually be affecting your social skills. And finally, the sixth mistake that every guy makes with their phone is checking it constantly, especially when they're around people. This is almost like a generational twitch that all of us young millennials have, whether intentional or just a bad habit. Even if we fully know that we don't have a new notification, we didn't hear it ring, every five minutes like clockwork, we have to flip that phone around and check it. The problem is that it sends a signal to the person sitting in front of you that your phone or whatever you're getting is more important than whoever is sitting across from you. So whether you're in an important business meeting, you're doing some sort of important pitch, or maybe you're on a date with a girl, you checking your phone will kill your chances and leave a horrible impression on them. And that's basically it guys, those are the top six mistakes most guys, or anybody in general, makes with their phone. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Rhino Shield. They're gonna be linked down below as well. That's it for me today, see you next time.